Hello, welcome to my bench. If this is your first time here, hi, my name's Dave. And uh, I just fix stuff most of the time. But right now, today, we're going to take a look at this little Fluke 8012A digital multimeter. This, uh, These are really a pretty nice little meter. They've got a couple of things that make them really kind of stand out. The first is that they are a true RMS multimeter for AC and this 812A version has the low ohms range which allows you to go down and measure very low resistances uh, with a full scale of 2 ohms. So that's that's pretty good. And you zero it here and you measure it there. We'll get into that in a bit. Uh, this meter will ra will measure AC, uh, like I said, true RMS and DC, uh, up to it says a thousand volts DC and 750 volts AC. Uh, it'll also measure milliamps, 2,000 milliamps or two amps over on this scale over here, which is fused, and you can pull that out pretty easily and replace it, which you probably will do from time to time. Uh, it'll go from 200 microamps up to 2 amps. It also does um, resistance and conductance uh, from 200 ohms here up to 20 mega ohms. Three of those scales, the 2 ohms, the 200, and the 20 megs, are also diode measurement. They recommend that you use the 2 ohm scale for diode measurements. Um, also, it does very low resistance readings. So, we're going to test all of its uh, capabilities today. First of all, we're going to start off with voltage, and for that, I have one of these little guys. This is, uh, what is he? These are pretty, pretty cheap little guys. It has a 584LH, AD584LH on it, uh, for a voltage reference. Right now, I've got it set on 5 volts. So we'll hook up, uh, hook up our meter, put it on DC volts, voltage 20, and check it out. 5 volts. That's, that's pretty good. But how do we know? Well, we'll check it with my... Uh, with my other meter here that I have. Um, bring this up. I know this meter to be accurate. I have measured it against all kinds of things. So what do we got? 4.998 4, 4 That's pretty good. Let's move this over to 7.5 volts check and see what the screen meter says 7.501 7.501 so let's check our little this little guy here and see what it says it says 7.50 so evidently that's pretty accurate all right, and let's take this off. And now it says 10.00, and my other meter says 10.00. So let's go down, way down in voltage to 2.5. Okay, so I got 2.5 volts here, and my meter up on the screen says 2.4997. So I would say that's pretty accurate for an old meter. All right, so let's take this off, check the voltage. So now we got to check resistance. So I've got a little box of resistors here. These are all pretty good. They're, they're supposed to be uh, 10, 5%. Yeah, they're all supposed to be 5%. <clears throat> so let's start off with something simple. Let's start off with a 1K. 
All right, here's my 1K. And put this on ohms. Uh, 2,000 ohms. Regular. And hook this up to one of these guys. And... And that says exactly 1K, 1,000 ohms. So if we measure it on the meter, the other meter, we got, so on this meter we got 1.0867, but that's, we got to disconnect this meter to make that accurate. Because it's supplying voltage, of course. That's how meters work. They read a drop of voltage. So we're looking at 0 0.9987 on the uh, known good meter. And on here, we're looking at 1.00. So that's pretty accurate. 0 0.999 if we go down to 2K. 2K full scale, that is. So, there, that's accurate. Let's, um, let's take it up a little bit. Let's try a 10K. Here we got 10K resistor. And we will find the other end of the lead and try that out. There we go. And that's over, of course. And it's reading 9.96K. And our other meter. Hook it up here. And it's saying 9.9543. Whoops, fell off. 9.93, somewhere around there. And this one's reading 9.95. All right, I can live with that. So far, this thing's doing really well. All right, now let's go for something low. Uh, here's a 10 ohm. All right, so let's um, put this down to 200 ohms and measure a 10 ohm resistor like that. And it's saying 10.3. The other meter is saying 10.4. Well, I can live with that. All right, but let's say we want to get a little more accurate. So what can we do? Well. We can take push, take this out of here, put it over there. That's on the low one. Uh, push both of these in at the same time, and go to 20. So now it says 10.21 ohms. That's pretty good. That's very good. However, in order to read this correctly, what you do is you short your leads together. You adjust this little pot right there for dead on zero and then measure your resistor 10.22 well almost any meter can read 10.2 ohms let's give it a shot with this <laughs> that's a whole bunch of resistors I put together to come out with exactly 0.1 ohm I use this as a load or something like that, or to draw a certain amount of current. So, we're going to put this guy on 2 ohms. Make sure that we're still zeroed. Little tweak. Okay, we're zeroed. We're going to hook it up to here. 
and I'm reading point one zero one. Perfect. That's exactly what this thing measures. Let's try it on the other meter. The other meter, I can't zero it well. I can do relative. Let's see. Relative. Okay, so there's relative, which just basically compensates for the leads. It's in a in a way, and then hook it up here. Point one two, point one zero, oh, point one two. So that's exactly what it's supposed to be, and that's as far down as this one will read. So actually, this little meter is more accurate on low ohms. Point oh nine nine. It drifted point zero one. <laughs> It's still point one, so it's actually more accurate than my other meter is. I do have a um, uh, thirty-four seventy-six, seventy-five or seventy-six, seventy-eight A, thirty-four seventy-eight A, um, to read that kind of stuff on. But I wanted to show what this one does. All right, so let's go on and do some AC voltage measurements. Um, AC being these things are these are plugged into my um, uh, HP two hundred four B signal generator. We're going to hook them up to our meter here on AC. And take it up to here, and we see it right about two volts AC true RMS. Okay, well, how do we know that that's accurate? Well, I have a scope that allows me to measure this stuff. And let's bring that in now. Where are you? Okay, there's the scope. We've got it hooked up. We're reading 2.05. And if we look at the scope over here, um, under P under RMS voltage, I got 2.06 volts RMS with a peak of 5.84. Nice. And one kilohertz exactly. Well, how well does this thing do at higher frequencies? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's take it up to, oh, let's, uh, let's go to 10 kilohertz. And there we go. We're saying 2.05 still. And our RMS on the um, LaCroix is saying 2.05 volts. So that's perfect. Well, that's, what, 10 kilohertz? Let's go to 100 kilohertz. And what do we got now? We're saying 1.8. So it dropped off a little at 100. And our LaCroix is saying 1.9. This is saying 1.8. So it's starting to become a little bit inaccurate at 100 kilohertz. But let's try, oh, I don't know. Let's try 200 kilohertz. Okay, LaCroix says 193 point something. That's good enough. And it says RMS 1.9. So, it won't do 200. So, let's find out how far down we have to go. Um, 
1.9. Uh, we're getting there. Come on. 1.86. Okay, it starts to drop off right there. 100 kilohertz. Yep. All right, so it's good to 100 kilohertz. Fantastic. That's your entire audio range. Let's go with the low end. Uh, <laughs> I think it stopped. I believe. 2.05. Let's see what the LaCroix says here. Uh, we're at... 100 hertz, well, 95, and 2.068, 2.05. That's very good. Hmm. Can we do, oh, uh, let's try 20. All right. We're reading 2.03 at 20 hertz. I don't think, yeah. Okay, there you go. 1.918. Okay, I call that good enough. So this is reading 2.03. The, uh, the scope's reading 1.91 at 10 hertz. That's pretty good, folks. That's not bad at all. So, what have we got here? Well, evidently we've got a pretty nice little meter. It has batteries. Um, it's running on batteries right now. And the batteries do charge and they hold the charge. And everything works. So, what am I going to do with this guy? Well, I'm going to give it away. It's a nice little meter. I just don't have place for it. I got to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm going to give this guy away. If uh if anybody wants a fairly nice little meter with a low range, low ohms range, true RMS, good to about 1000 volts DC. I don't have any extra cables for it. That's battery operated, has a handle and everything. Still even has the sticker on the bottom for conversions and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. What are we going to do this time? We'll see how many, if, if I get any responses at all. Um, say, um, I want a fluke. <laughs> Just put in, I want the fluke in the... Uh, in the comments below. I got to limit this only to uh, lower 48 United States, please. Uh, shipping costs are just way too much for most people to even want it. So basically, whoever wants this, put I want the fluke in a comment. And um, we'll pick somebody after one week. So that would be next Thursday. Next Thursday would be what? Um, the 3rd. Next Thursday the 3rd, we'll give it away uh, to somebody that, uh, that, that says they want one. Lower 48 only, you just pay shipping for it. That's it. Okay? So, there you go. Nice little meter. Very accurate. They're old, but hey, they still work great. Thanks for watching. Till next time.